Hi there. Uh, I haven't posted a video in quite some time, and I wanted to thank everyone who's uh, queried or commented and uh, private messaged me uh, to find out whether or not I'm okay. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, yes, I am okay. I've just been busy with work and other commitments, and that's just uh, hasn't left me with much uh, spare time. So uh, all the same, I do appreciate uh, everyone who's been asking about me. Uh, I thought uh, today I'd do a video. And firstly, uh, I started off with uh, 2024, making a vow to myself to not buy any more vinyl because I wanted to focus on listening to vinyl and to you know play the records I already have. But I wanted to share this with you. Uh, I've been uh, trying to clear out my house uh, for a couple of years now, uh, just you know having a good uh, clear out decluttering things and I recently uh, made a big trip to the charity shop uh, one of my favorite charity shops I really believe in what they do and I know that the money that they raise really do go to the work uh, to help the community. You know, I went and dropped off some furniture, some books, clothing, and even some records uh, that I don't listen to anymore. After I did that, uh, while I was heading my way out of the shop, I saw a huge crate of vinyl. And I was like, oh no, you know what? Do I leave or do I just kind of have a quick look? Uh, and I have to admit, it didn't look inviting. You know, I could just see from afar that a lot of the vinyl looked pretty bashed up. And they looked kind of like your typical um, charity shop find. But I thought, oh, why not? I'll, I'll, I'll just have a quick look. And I was really surprised. I came across some uh, crazy finds. I would like to share this with you. And normally I wouldn't disclose uh, how much I pay for vinyl because um, I do find it, it could be uh, kind of unbecoming and it may come across uh, the wrong way but uh, on this occasion I will mention it because I think it's a testament that through sheer luck and timing that you could come across some some crazy finds so uh, this is uh, my spring crazy vinyl find I'm going to share with you I did make some notes too because there were lots of uh, records I found that I was not familiar with so bear with me so here's the first one so I love Jean Karn. She's a female uh, soul singer. And I put her up there with uh, Phyllis Hyman, uh, Dee Dee Bridgewater. So I was shocked to see this. It's Jean Karn's 12 inch uh, single. And it's the song Lucky Charm and Closer Than Close. So, uh, you know, it's got that uh, smooth 80s uh, jazz uh, soul sound. And it's just lovely. And I was just amazed. It, it just looked unplayed, uh, not a scratch on there. Uh, so I played this and it's wonderful and I, I love it. And I'm a big fan of her music. Uh, so this this one, I've never heard of the band Sass. And I had a look at it, I thought, oh, no, it's, you know, it's kind of nice looking 12-inch uh, maxi single. And I looked on the, the back here and the song, I Didn't Mean It At All, it says, featuring Grover Washington Jr. So I was like, what? Grover Washington Jr.? Uh, you know, the saxophonist? And I, I will, if anyone is featuring Grover Washington Jr., it's going to be worth a listen. So I had to get it. And so this was like a blind buy. And I played it, and it's nice. It's a has kind of like a smooth jazz uh, sound again, similar to Gene Carn's uh, twelve inch maxi single. And I'll just ha have a look at my notes here. So I had never heard of Sass, and uh, it's a female uh, soul singer, and. I think she kind of reminded me a little bit uh, of uh, Whitney Houston, her sound, uh, much more mellow. Um, and she actually kind of looks like Whitney Houston as well. Uh, so this was a great find. So here's Cool and the Gang. Uh, I love the artwork here. And this is the maxi single, uh, When You Say You Love Somebody in the Heart. Uh, but for me, the killer is Tonight Remix. And it's fantastic. It still has the sticker price here, uh, Revolver Records, for three pounds. I love Cool and the Gang. It's got a nice, funky, funky sound. So it's great. And here are my notes. I wrote, uh, great bass line. <laughs> great bass beat for the Tonight remix. So this was worth it. This one was a real surprise. Eugene Record. 
Magnetism, single, and then the back side is I don't mind, take everything. For the Shy Lights fans out there, you know who Eugene Record is. He is the former lead singer. I had never actually heard of uh, these songs, so I had to play, and again, you know, it's really nice. And it's, um, it sounds a little bit disco-y, a, a little bit, um, the both songs. Uh, but again, I don't think you can see the record, it looks unplayed. And the condition is, is just excellent. In fact, uh, the ones I've shown you so far, they're all excellent. Um, and I do wonder whether or not they've been played. So let's see, what did I write here? I wrote, uh, for Eugene Record, yes, disco sound and very funky. I'm a big fan of Rose Royce, uh, song Magic Touch, which I actually have never heard. Um, so this was really lovely and getting this, uh, the B side is safe and warm and A side is a uh, magic touch. It's always nice to discover songs uh, of, of bands that you're familiar with and you forget like, oh, you know, I never heard of that one. So this was a nice find. And again, you know, it's an excellent condition. I'll, I'll show you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm curious, you know, someone did mention to me, uh, it was a couple of videos I did way back. Uh, uh, he said, uh, uh, you're a bit of a scam, basically. Why aren't you showing the vinyl? So I thought, oh my goodness. Uh, and I do wonder whether that do people just show empty sleeves? I mean, records? I, I don't know, but I thought that was a curious comment to make. So I'm going to try to pull out the vinyl and show you from now on so uh, so it's believable what I'm saying. Uh, so you can see it's, it's like really, really in excellent condition. Uh, this was a killer. I, um, I love Mel and Kim. So... <laughs> Here's one, it's another maxi single, uh, showing out remix, and then you have System. So this is really cool, and I, I just can't believe it, again, you know, for 50p, which uh, in America, in cents, uh, that's about like 65 cents. So you can see, there aren't any marks at all. So I'm wondering whether or not, I'm presuming that this was all one big donation from the same person who was really into maxi singles and uh, soul, and, you know, and a bit of dance music as well. I'll put that there. Uh, this was a blind buy. I had never heard of uh, DC Lee. And that song here is Come Hell or Waters High. It's just nice, you know, kind of chill, slow soul sound. Uh, and then the back sides, I Don't Mess and the Wow Wow Mix. I have to say, I love the song, the Wow Wow Mix. It's really cool. What struck me when I listened to the Wow Wow Mix uh, uh, song was that it reminded me of uh, Denise Williams' uh, Let's Hear It For The Boys song. Just show you again. Uh, it's really clean. All of these are super clean. What uh, uh, convinced me to buy this was uh, I just thought the cover was really cool. It's M and M and it says here song in my heart uh, Dance remix. So I had never heard of M and M and then I realized it, it actually stands for Martha and the muffins So I had to Google uh, who, who are Martha and the muffins and it's a Canadian rock group It's a nice song, you know, it's a uh, kind of poppy and sounds a bit mainstream. You know, it, it, it's nice, you know uh, so this was a great find and it's nice to discover new music with a blind boy. So I got this one, Bellowy Sum, and I was really surprised to see this in, in the mix because uh, I'm a big 80s fan and uh, Bellowy Sum, I love his song Animal Magic. And you can see how it's just uh, flawless and I played it no problem at all. And this was another blind buy. And again, I thought, you know, for 50 pence, uh, you know, I can't lose. If I don't like it, I'll just, you know, donate to the charity shop where I bought it from. So this is Lisa M. Uh, she's a Puerto Rican singer. And the song is People. And it's pretty good. It's pretty funky. Okay. So it's kind of cool artwork here. And that's another thing with uh, maxi singles. Uh, their artwork's really cool. They're all really different from... Uh, the album artwork uh, in which the song was featured. Let's show you. There you go. You can see? All right. And uh, the label is pretty cool. Oh, I have in my notes here Lisa M. Early 90s uh, dance sound mix. So, yeah, it's got kind of that, that house, uh, kind of like pre house sound. Uh, so, that's pretty cool. I was really surprised to see this. And I love this band, um, Heart. 
Okay, and one of my favorite albums uh, from Heart is uh, Bad Animals, and there are a couple of songs I love, like um, There's the Girl, and then Alone. So this is the maxi single for Alone, and get this, Side B has Barracuda on here, <laughs> which uh, a lot of you know was featured in the Charlie's Angel movie uh, with Drew Barrymore. And uh, that's just a killer song. So I can't believe that's the, the B-side, like a remix, Barracuda, and, and with Alone. So how wonderful is that? And again, it looks unplayed. Um, I played it with no problem. There is not a single scratch on here at all. This one was a real shocker for me. So as I kept flipping through this uh, giant crate, um, and I, I must tell you, these were not all together. Uh, they were kind of interspersed. So I think uh, maybe when the person who donated this lot, uh, they were thrown in with other vinyl records that were donated and they all then were put into one giant crate. Uh, that's just what I'm presuming. So this is uh, the Dream Academy. And I love their song, uh, Life in a Northern Town. Okay, so this is the maxi single. And that came out in 1985. This is still sealed. And not only that, this is a limited edition and it comes with a free single. So there's a seven inch um, 45 of Life in the Northern Town, still sealed. And I haven't opened it yet, but it doesn't look warped or anything. Uh, but how fantastic is that? As I'm flipping, you know, you get the odd Jim Reeves in there, and then you get the odd uh, Herb Albert, and you're flipping, flipping, flipping through it, and, you know, Dr. Zhivago and, and all that. Uh, this came up, ABBA, The Visitors. I'm not a big ABBA fan, but again, I just thought for the price, uh, I, I couldn't pass it up. And uh, the condition is superb. I'll just show you. Here you go. I don't know if you can see. Okay. And I played this, and it's fun. And this one, uh, now three, it's a double album. So I don't know what year this came out. Let's have a look. Um, 1984. It's got uh, Bronski Beat, Queen, Duran Duran, Phil Collins, Howard Jones, Alison Moyet. OMD, Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, Bob Marley, Grandmaster, and Mel Mel, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, and Thompson Twins. I just love the gatefold. The vinyl is fantastic. Again, uh, there you go. I don't know. I have to confess, I'm not a big uh, Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons fan. I mean, uh, but I do love a couple of their songs. The two favorites are uh, Begging. And Who Loves You Baby or Who Loves You Pretty Mama, that song. I love that song, Begging, right? And you know, it was done by Bob Godio and Peggy Farina, or it was written by, by those two. And you know, that was written in 1967, but it's absolutely timeless. You know, when you listen to that song, you could have, you know, it could have been a song that was written yesterday, a testament to the, its timelessness. It's been covered so often, a Mad Con cover by that Norwegian uh, duo, hip hop duo. Uh, for me, that's a pretty good cover. It did some rapping in there and did so well. Um, I, can't, I don't remember, I think it was in the early 2000s, uh, they came up with that cover. And then you had a lot of other uh, covers of that song. It's the KTEL double album. I actually had this album, but it wasn't a KTEL uh, label. Um, I think it was maybe Columbia or RC, I can't remember what. But it was about like 15 years ago, and I thought, well, you know, I, I don't really listen to it. So I sold it. I kind of regretted it later on when Madcon did that song. I thought, oh, wow, you know, I had the original on vinyl, with, you know, Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. So for me, you know, this is really nice to uh, come across at the charity shop for 50 pence. So, you know, it's KTEL. And uh, for me, KTEL uh, has a lot of cachet to it, even though back in the day, you know, people thought that KTEL was a very cheap label. But, you know, I have no uh, qualms about the quality. You know, I played this record and it's, it plays fine. These are my uh, recent uh, spring charity shop 
points. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you've had some like crazy uh, charity shop finds, uh, drop me a line or make a comment. And uh, as I said uh, at the beginning of this video, uh, I normally don't uh, disclose how much I pay for, for vinyl, but I felt that uh, it was quite apt to do so on this occasion because I think that um, you know, you go into charity shops and you do see some pretty bashed up vinyl that's priced for £10 or even uh, £15. Uh, it's quite extraordinary. So but I do wonder whether or not people are actually going to buy it because that's quite a bit of money for, a, you know, a bashed up uh, vinyl. So uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts about that. I hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for joining me.